They ain't no bugs on me. They may be bugs on some of your mugs, but they ain't no bugs on Lindsay. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh, hashtag Coca-Cola. Hello. Sponsor. Ooh, there's some big cans. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my roommate Lindsay here, who's also one of my best friends. Um, she apparently moved in with me about two years ago, so it's been hell ever since. <laughs> so we just thought we would do a quick Q&A on what it's like living with a quad. And I dragged her butt in here, of course. Tell them a little bit about how we even met first. Oh, are we going back to the very beginning? Yeah, let's, yeah, you tell, oh. you tell. You. So I work at a place <laughs> and Steph would come in where it's where the perfect step is mm -hmm. and uh, she don't always chit chat. She called me a few times and I'd help her out of her car. Well, I don't know. We just started talking and talking about boys, mm -hmm. of course, and how stupid they are. Yeah, dummies. And um, I don't know. We lost touch for a little bit and then we moved in together. Yeah, she just randomly showed up at the house that I'm living in. And I was like, who the heck is Lindsay moving in? And then I heard her voice. I was like, oh, it's Lindsay. <laughs> now I haven't gotten rid of her. It's been almost two years now. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and just jump straight into the questions that we have here. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Um, first question. Lindsay, do you ever feel like she needs help, but you don't know how to help her? Um... Yeah, but I would say more, not physic. well, no. I would, that's a great question actually. Cause there's like certain medical stuff that happens to you that <clears throat> I don't think people realize that it affects you differently than it would affect me a able body. Mm -hmm. um, it hits you a little harder and I'm a little less emotional. I'm like, ah, you're fine, get up, rub some dirt on it, you know, <laughs> but it, it affects you 10 times worse than it would affect me or anyone else. Um, so I think that I don't know how to help sometimes in that aspect. Um, but I think other than that, like, I don't know, we have such a good rhythm that just like, I think from day one I watched her and I was like, okay, you just gotta jump in feet first and help up. Well, she'll ask for help, but if she doesn't ask, don't help her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty bratty about don't it. Don't help her. I'm pretty bratty about it. <laughs> but I think more like, sometimes I don't, emotional stuff. But I think that's just like being a girl. Yeah. I feel like it's more of like, we help each other a lot emotionally as opposed to physically. Yeah. But there are things that Lindsay has like come home and she randomly finds me on the floor. Insert clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you left the house at 78. It was hot. <laughs> I can yell at you that first yeah. and then get you off the and floor. And then she didn't realize I was on the floor. She's like, no. oh, hey, you're down there. I think I'm, I don't know. I just look at you like, I don't know. You could do anything. So like when stuff like that happens, it just is so out of my mind. Yeah. It's just, oh, oh shit. You're on the floor. Okay. All right, cool. I'll pick you up. <laughs> How many times have your toes gotten rolled over? Oh my God. A lot, a lot. And they hurt every time. But I think the bigger question is, how many times have I lifted up your chair with the locks off? Oh my gosh, this is so true. Lifted, Rookie move. Yeah, lifted up her chair with the brakes not locked and the chair just rolls forward into your shins. Um, you'll let that happen probably about five times before you hit really oh, good. Let's see, do you live with other people who are also a quad? Also, your makeup is amazing, thank you. And I don't think Lindsay could handle living with another. No, I lose my mind. Yeah, <laughs> one is totally one of enough. You is enough. <laughs> Not just like just you. You're just, enough. <laughs> no, forget just, the quad part. Just, just Steph. Me alone is Steph in general is enough. Lindsay, do you ever feel obligated to help? Do you feel guilty for saying no? No, I don't ever feel obligated, and Steph's really good about. Um, being very understanding, like if my back or hip hurts, um, but I never feel obligated. Like I think it's just as a friend, that's what friends do. Friends just jump in and help. And um, I think, you know, if you care, if someone you, you see someone you love, like struggling on something to get something, you'll just help them out. But I think a lot of it is to ease my own anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Extremely OCD this one. Yeah. All the cans in our fridge are like labeled forward. Because it looks nice. Clocks are on all the <sighs> same dial too. Yeah. They're all, <laughs> they're, and if one is off, it's like. Drives me nuts. Yeah. Um, what do you expect Lindsay to help you with? Mm, I don't expect anything of you. I feel like I rarely even ask you, like generally be like, hey Linz, can you help me with this? Yeah. Unless it's like putting my hair in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, I think like that's the most commonly asked thing is putting my hair up. But I could do my hair in a pony, but if I know I'm filming, I'll ask her to put it up because yeah. I don't get that slick look. But, um. She hates it. <laughs> I hate it. She like does like this flippy thing. Maybe we'll show you guys later where she like tosses <laughs> my hair back and it whoops me in the face. I don't get it. I just don't get it. But yeah, I don't. I don't really help, ask for too much help. I will always try, 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 and then I'll struggle, and I'll moan and groan, and then I'll try again, and then I'll ask. Yeah. Kind of, right? Yep. Feels about right. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is your craziest story? Oh my god, the damn cats. The cats that set off the cameras the all the time. The damn <laughs> You and I both got on the camera. Oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> So we were both on the ring alarm at the same time. You could talk to your ring alarm and there was a cat outside and I'm like, I, I, didn't, I didn't know Lindsay was on it and I started barking at the cat. <laughs> you did. I forgot, I was thinking of another story, but that one was funny. I literally started barking at the cat. I'm like crying already. And I didn't know she was on it. She's like, what are you doing? Or the time you got um, us lost in Boston. I was not lost. I kept telling her, no, we're going the wrong way. We're lost, we should just call an Uber. She insisted, insisted that we walked it. Or she walked it, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. But- You rolled it. I rolled it, yeah. It was murderous. Oh, oh my God, that hill. <laughs> oh, dude, oh man, that hill. I was like, you could do it. You could totally get down that hill. I was like, it just curves and goes straight down. Goes she goes, uh-uh, nope, I can't do that. Rarely mm -hmm. no ever. Way. Yeah, rarely and, ever do I So I no. wheeled her down. I'm going backwards and I'm holding her casters and she's going forwards and I'm wheeling her down. I'm like, oh, well, that was actually pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it was so steep and like, I kid you not, I rarely ever be like, no, I can't do it. I'll at least try and be like, no, no, someone grab me. No, I was like, mm-mm, not happening. That was bad. That was a really steep Ooh. hill. Oh gosh, that was a bad one. <laughs> Have you ever dropped her? Oh yeah. Oh my God, St. Patty's Day. Oh, I for St. sure Patty's dropped her. St. Patty's Day? I don't remember. Well, I was hammered. <laughs> oh my god yes getting out of the uber mm -hmm. Get so st patty's day oh man <laughs> well it was fun so we celebrated stuff that day and then also we went to a brewery afterwards with a couple people and <laughs> i just steph knew i was i was done because i was like steph yeah i'm drunk we <laughs> We have like this really good thing where we know where one of, of us is like at a limit and we the other one will sw won't drink. Like we'll like be like, we gotta watch over each other. Yeah. So that was like my moment where she was like talking to me and she like kneeled down to get eye level. I was like, when do you get eye level? <laughs> I never do. You never do. Mm -mm. And then you look, she straight looked at me. She was like, well, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit it. Like I know when I'm done. So we got an Uber, got her in the car. And I get really chatty, so I was talking the whole way home. I do remember that. And then get the chair out of the car, and I don't know. Like, I just, I think I lost my footing, and I'm holding her, and I've got her, and I'm like, I'm going down. She's like, what? I was like, I'm, I'm going down. I'm dropping you. I'm going to, you're going down. I dropped you carefully, yeah, though. It was the most graceful fall ever. <laughs> it was so graceful. <laughs> She's like, do you want the guy to help you? I was like, nope, I got it. I, she I got like it. muscled me back in my chair. I don't know how I did that. What was it the next morning you asked me what was on my chair? I was oh, like, oh yeah, the, I dropped her in the grass. I had no idea. And I was like, it's the grass from my butt when it mm. hit the floor. <laughs> it was like all over my chair, it was all dirty. I've tossed you into, a, I toss her more than I drop her. Yeah. I toss her into things. Mm hmm. Cause I, I'm like baby Brutus, man. I have no idea my strength. She grabs me by my pants, getting into the car, and like just kind of like lifts me. <laughs> what time I hit my head on the freaking dashboard so <laughs> hard? Yeah. I oh. wasn't ready. Okay, what about the time that uh, we went to Vegas to go see George Strait, and I just like I don't even know what happened. I think I was just trying to get on the plane, cause I just don't. I hate being on planes. I just I don't like them. I don't like airports. I don't like crowded spaces. 
I'm a wacko. And I just, boom, tossed you. And my mom was like, oh my god. Yeah, she was so upset. <laughs> What are uh, your indiv individual responsibilities, like who cooks and who cleans? Mm, I think it's pretty equal. Except for the trash. You always take out the yeah, trash. Yeah, because, I mean... There's a step, and it's like goes through the back, so I can't... Your butt is not taking out that darn trash. Yeah, no. Even if you could get around it. Because yeah, right. you can if you use that back door. What back door? You, that other door that we never use. Oh. You could. I forget it's there. Uh-huh. You could do it. Yeah, I could probably get in and out. But of you that. won't do it. No. <laughs> but I don't know. We're pretty. We're pretty equal. Even cooking, yeah, like cooking we'll cook equal. individually. Mm -hmm. But then there are times where I will cook for her, or I'll just text her if I know I'm making a lot, or yeah. if I know I'm making something special, and we'll cook for her, and she'll. Or um, if something's expired and we both gotta eat it. Yeah, we just gotta go. To I town. end up eating a lot of vegetarian meals, which is. You thought it was cat food last night. It was awful. <laughs> um. Who decides who decorates? <laughs> Steph decorates for year round. Year I round. get the holidays. Yeah. I'm always I switching go, things yeah. up. I go all out for holidays. Yeah. I'm like, you do that. I will decorate the whole house. So yeah. like the house is like what it's standard is what I have done. <laughs> and what is like flagged out right now <laughs> is what she has done. Yeah. Um, are there any times you get frustrated with each other over normal tasks? Yeah. You leave your freaking coffee cups in the sink. But it, I mean, I'm a weirdo. Like, <laughs> I'm very OCD. Um, I cause all my own stress. It's my, it's my own personal problem. It, it's me. It's totally me. That's why I leave my coffee cups now, like, on the lead on the side of the sink so you remember to clean them so i remember to clean them <laughs> otherwise the sink is so deep that i don't see them mm -hmm. at all or i know my mom is coming to clean my house <laughs> yeah oh my god i asked her the other day i was like how long are you going to keep these coffee cups in here it's been two days and she goes well my mom's coming tomorrow so till tomorrow <laughs> i don't know like is there anything that you get frustrated at with you frustrated No. OCD. <laughs> I think it's funny. I'm just like, I, I don't know. I I don't, you don't bother me like living with you. Like, yeah, you don't bother any, me either. Any, any way. Um, I would like to say that you're loud in the morning sometimes, but I know, I'm I know. just, I'm, I have really good hearing. So it's not fair to say, you know, because no, I hear everything. I think, yeah, but I think that is because I know I do try to be cautious sometimes. Yeah, you are. Um, but then there's other times. Again, I caused my own stress that I'm running late because I decided to sleep in for another like 15 minutes and then I timed it out wrong and well, it happened. But at the same time though, I'm usually awake at that time that yeah. she's up. Anyways, we're both early yeah. birds. So, but there are some times where I, I'm super tired. She knows that if I'm not awake when she's up. Like, like if I don't see the light on, I know she's probably going to sleep for a little while. Yeah. But for the most part, I'm up, which is yeah. makes it a good household. Even like on weekends, we're both awake early, but laying in bed. <laughs> we're laying in bed, yeah, separately. Yeah. Are you up? Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to lay here and watch TV. <laughs> okay, me too. Exactly. I'll see you in like an hour. <laughs> How has it been living here for the last two years? It's been crazy. Hasn't it? It's yeah. been kind of wild ride, right? Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's <clears throat> been two years. That it doesn't. Been here. And I think the craziest part is like at one point, we were both in relationships at the same exact time. Mm -hmm. And we were kind of living the opposite life. Yeah. But I was way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> you were way cooler. I, was, I wasn't like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was like, but we saw how each other was in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, it took our roommate situation and our friendship to definitely another level. Um, like with having someone over all the time or having someone here. And, you know, like... I could tell when like she was like, no, I'm over it. Nope, they gotta go. They all gotta go. They all need to get out of the house. And I'm like, oh, I feel you, girl. Like, yeah. They gotta go. <laughs> they need to go. They can't stay here. So, I mean, I think that was really good. But I think you and I have, I've always had people tell me like, when you find a really good roommate, you gotta hang on to them because it's like, it's gold. Um, uh yeah, so the camera turned off, but what I was going to say is that I think what was beneficial was the fact that her and I were more of acquaintance prior to moving in together, and then um, you kind of adapt 
and know whether yeah. you really like someone when you live with someone. And um, our relationship was built off of being roommates. Yeah. And truly knowing each other inside and out. Like, I mean, the way you, you live, yeah. clean, <clears throat> you know, like, the way you talk to people. Like, we're around each other, you know, every day. And so I feel like this was, like, the type of situation that could really build a strong friendship. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. Like, I'm glad that, <clears throat> you know, we were acquaintances first and then... Like, we moved in, and then we became really, really great friends. Yeah. Like, we're both definitely involved in each other's family lives, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's kind of, it's crazy. It's good. It's good. It's definitely good, because I don't think this would have worked any other way. I don't think so either. Yeah. Yeah. I it's definitely would recommend, like, you know, moving in with, like, acquaintances first and not moving in with friends, because moving in with friends is just so hard. Right. Yeah. Living with a quad is... A blessing. Oh my god, I'm gonna just smack you. I'm just gonna smack you. Oh my god. It's a lot of, I don't know, it's a lot of laying around in this house. Hanging out, yep. filming, getting her to do stuff with me. Um, sometimes she's my camera woman, and sometimes she is a person I bounce ideas off of, and then sometimes she is forced to be on camera and do stuff. She likes it. Mm -mm. Okay, guys, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do you have anything to say? You're the most difficult person to live with. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so stay tuned for more videos. She will definitely be back. Um, she doesn't know it yet, but maybe she knows now. And I will be weekly vlogging, so you'll see more of her in the vlogs as well. Hopefully I can catch her doing something dumb, because she always does. A lot. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching again. Love you. Mwah.